kind of an update on the WRX. The Miata is gone. No Miata. Um, but here's an update on the WRX. It's got a wing now. It's got the STI wing. Looks great. Um, I'm ordering parts. Parts are all on the way. You can see them here in the back seat. We got coil packs, we got valve cover gaskets. Uh, on the way still is timing belt, water pump stuff. You can see there. Access port version two, upgrade from the version one. And we got cam seals, we got crank seals, we got oil separator plates, we got thermostats, we got radiator caps. Everything's either on its way or is already here. Gonna fill up the back of this Subaru. Uh, we're gonna tow it to my mechanic after I go down and uh, get the engine from Orlando, which I should be going down and getting that on the 5th, February 5th, I believe. Inside the car, we still need a wide band. The boost gauge is hooked up. Um, fix these lights, place them with LEDs. That one has the LED. Uh, here's a look at the interior. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. You probably haven't, but it's gorgeous and it's in great condition. Like I mentioned, I now have the access port version 2. I bought it off of Facebook, got it for a steal, 80 bucks shipped, and it even came with a little flash connector. Um, came with all this, the connectors installed right there. Let me show you what this has on it. So I'm still running the 2003 ECU, just because it doesn't uh, have provisions for EVAP codes. Might go back to the 04, because I think the access port deletes those anyway. But this has a couple of functions. Let me show you the tune. So this access port isn't in the best shape. Like you can see this screen's a little pixelated and it's a little laggy, but you know, it's way better, light years ahead of the version uh, one. The biggest thing is all these maps are version 300 or version 310 versus on the access port version one, all the maps were version 130 or something, and I didn't have the ability to really flash it to my computer because those things were picky. Um, so going through this, it has the anti-theft mode. It's got two versions. One um, allows the vehicle to start and idle, and the other one just uh, doesn't let it start at all. It's got an economy mode to get better gas mileage. I'll use that on road trips. Um, then these are blocked out right now because it's a real-time tune, but it actually has two of these pro tunes from the person uh, I got the car from. They're for STI injectors and uh, TGV delete, but uh, one's for 15 PSI, one's for 18. These are pro tunes, and uh, the person made, she made 300 wheel horsepower on that tune, so eventually I might do that. We got our stage one 91 tune, uh, high wastegate and low wastegate, um, stage 193. ACN tune. Then we got our stage 2 91 tune. This is actually what I'm running right now. I'm going to run the 91 tune on 93 fuel for the time being just so I'll have extra safety. Uh, then we have high wastegate, low wastegate, just plain 93, valet mode, which I'll use for if anybody else has to drive my car, it doesn't let you get in boost. Um, in the monitor section, we have data logging, fuel economy. You can set uh, this to act like a shift light, um, some other things. But up under this live data, is this has all of your sensors. So you got air fuel ratio, you got all these things. Basically anything you can think of, this one has. That's a huge difference between the version one and the version two. And then we got performance. It'll tell you a zero to 60 time quarter mile time, and a dyno, probably isn't very accurate. Um, and then in this tune section, again, this is super awesome. We have, under adjustments, you can adjust the idle, you can adjust the base timing, and you can set a launch control. Um, that is super awesome. My engine's still knocking, but I confirmed the launch control does work. Troubleshooting for checking check engine lights and then uninstall general information. 
this Exos port version 2 is so much better than the version 1. I'm really happy with it. Um, it came with all the cables and everything. I got an amazing deal on this. Usually these go for about 400 bucks, but I got this for 80 bucks shipped to me. Um, now all we need is wait for the parts to arrive. I got to get a wide band, got to get an engine, and uh, then we'll be ready to roll. That's just an update for you guys on the Subaru WRX 2005 WRX.